Dogs against Heroic, they were stunning. They crushed them. They came in today, surprisingly, to a certain extent, as favorites in this matchup against NIP. And they've dropped a map. Alij boosted up early to protect and cover OC as he shifts into an aggressive stance with the help of NAF. Four players towards the B bomb site early for Team Liquid. They haven't seen anyone, but they do have a lot of information. It's the lack of presence that gives them intel. Lack of intel. Rez already up toward long, though. It's gonna be a peek from Shocks. It... Peekaboo! It's Rez that wants to follow it. Not quite as accurate the second time. Suffice to say, but it's still going to be him with 26 HP, a kill, and then a chunk of damage off of Elyse as well, who's not done there. He goes back out. Rez is going to win that duel as well. Yeah, but it's all about the stack. It's all about these two players, Nath and Osi. The bomb drops. It actually slides out of the door as well. Oh, this is tough. They're in a tough situation. Fuzi goes down. Bomb is protected, and Naf and Osi have combined to bring this you round know. back into favor. Hapis finds one, and now it's just Naf. The issue with that, almost in some ways, was that they're a victim of their own success. Naf gets the first kill. They didn't know Osi was there. As soon as he gets a kill in that position as well, Hampus knew he could flank. So Rez finally taken down, but you're right. The bomb is still in the possession of Naf, and they have to go deal with him eventually and inevitably as he is flashed off, stuck in a corner. Nitro will arrive. Perfect time. He's done damage to help his teammate, and Naf closes the round in a one-on-one. -on -one. What a crazy resolidify their defense. OC backing away with the scout this time. Shot, no land on Hampus. Shocks will get up close in the corner with the MP9 to work with. He'll hold it out and see who's going to work his direction. Hampus, Rez, S Tag are the three that are out at long right now, currently, at least for NIP trying to go above the flower pot. Shocks spots that coming, and it was unfortunate that OC had just fired a shot, didn't see it. They're going to get around the corner of the MP9. It goes to work. Shocks, we know. He's been able to farm some cash on that weapon yesterday in certain matches, specifically on Vertigo, and Elyse will get two this time. Naf, another of his total. So each of their resumes holding two kills. Actually, Naf now with three in the, the game. Third round by coming in for an IP. AK-47's picked up across the board against much weaker weaponry. Famas on Naf, two MP9s and the scout on OC as well. These AK-47s can do work here, so Liquid, this will be a tough round for them, but this is that kind of bonus round situation that we sometimes discuss, where if you can pull it off as the CT side here, you get to upgrade to AK-47s for free, and all of a sudden, depending on how many players survive, you can really, really have a nice, strong economy heading into the early stages of the half. just waiting hovering from sandbags to hold water the exchange meanwhile though is out toward long and res and hamp is both tagged by the scout oc Ooh, i admire the fact that he kept going back for those repeats he knows Fearless. he knows now that he's tagged too he's calling that over to his teammates and that's a beautiful situation for a team that has a pair of SMGs to play with and still obviously the scout that can be a menace in the hands of OC. NIP isn't even considering the B-bomb site and look at Liquid. They've pushed Elyse out of Monster. They've pushed him all the way forward. They know everything that's coming. So everyone, four players going to be at this bomb site. Two players already below half HP for NIP. If they can win this hit, that'd be something special, but it's going to be so difficult. Shocks in the smoke. He's going to get behind him, but is he aware? I, they're basically holding hands. Blopsky's taken off. He's charged through. He's made noise doing it. Shocks is behind the ball. Walks out, and he's going to easily get a shooting gallery. Finds two. Snaps to the third. Brilliantly done on the M4 as they lost track of where he went inside of the smoke, and Naf will close it off with another double. What a play. Just sit inside of the smoke. Bide your time. Wait. They're going to bypass you and popping out at the perfect moment. Shocks delivers heavy impact in round number three. And a bunch of upgrades to the AK-47s. Naf has one, Shox has one. Team Liquid flush with cash early on. Aught picked up for OC as well. Perfect play from Shox. And with that silencer as well, tough to make the reaction, especially when you're already shooting deep into the bomb site using a lot of ammunition and having maybe a little bit of messed up recoil. That's gotta be migraine inducing. Back to Deagles for the ninjas. 
The tag from the Molotov on the lead should have been heard from the Plopski position at the underpass. He's going to rotate back up. Shock still in bathroom connector. Solid start so far. AK, Shadow, and a bit of a pre-fire takes Rez down. They'll try and combat that position, but he doesn't want to stick around. Okay, take it back. He's going to go back to it. He only gets two this time, but Plopski tagged down to 60. He's done his damage, and it's a four on two in favor of Liquid. And they've got two inside of each... I was going to say each site, but Elise has made his move. He is working up behind them. The MP9 in hand should yield one more, but Plopski, aware as ever, is able to get the kill onto him. Now 34 HP, and they've got to be a little bit careful about overextending these positions. Nitro's the next one to push forward. He's in the underpass already. Bomb is above... Uh, Okay, it is above. Sorry, the camera moved on me, and I thought that was actually behind is what we were trying to show, but it is above, so Nitro's not going to be able to spot that. Yeah, but he at least got information. Hasn't spotted. He heard the footsteps of Hampus running back. That's going to bring Naf back to the B-bomb site. Obviously, they've gone quiet now. But you can make an educated guess. OC's here as well. Liquid's defense. These three players completely evacuating the A-bomb site. IP don't realize it yet, but they've been red. As long as there's no... Shocking misses out of OC. He should have no problem handling the first. There's a miss around the corner. Hampus with the trade to follow up onto OC, but Hampus never expects the third player, not even considering Nitro. What a good insurance policy to have, but... As if you had to say that about I him. know. <laughs> My bad. Oh, sigh of relief from Team Liquid. That takes a lot of money away. Tons of money indeed. 4 nothing. continuing in the... Winning ways that they were so successful yesterday on their CT sides with. Does that count as a caster curse? If I say he's going to miss thinking, and then he misses, is that a curse or is that, well, you know? Because if I say they're going to win and then they lose, that's a curse. You didn't say that. You said as long as he doesn't miss and okay. then he did miss. That's fair. So it kind of is a caster curse, Jason. Right. And you need to be more careful. Maybe like a, yeah, I'll do my best. Like, Nitro's not going to get one through the smoke. Okay, as long as OC doesn't have another miss here. That's still asking for a curse. I'm just testing it now. I just want to see what we've got, what we're working with, what kind of magic we've got at the table today. Oh, God. I don't even want to know. I, if I have magic powers, I hope I never find out because I would be terrible. <laughs> that is naff with some magic that flying nasty. through the air. Yeah, absolutely. Nasty AF. You know, back out of the situation. Nitro still holding off toward the smoke at Monster's gonna put another one down. And S Tag and Hampus kind of wondering what to do. This round's been taken away from them. Wondering where things have gone wrong. 23 HP on S Tag. Aggressive defense from Liquid gives him a three man advantage in the round, and then they back off into the bomb site safely. Shocks at an off angle. Oh, wow, Hampus, that's a beautiful shot sliding under Shox's crosshair. Still a long way to go, still a long route to travel, and not a whole lot of utility with which to make it work, especially against an AWP. OC, there you go. Oh. Uh, okay. OC getting another NAF's going to follow it up. They'll pick up the AWP. NAF's on one, eight kills so far. We're only on to the side. The one organization. United Nations of Americas. <laughs> Obviously, Furia still alive as well. They'll be playing tomorrow. Absolutely, Willie. Yeah, that's right. So our first two quarterfinals today, our second two tomorrow. That moves us to Saturday, semifinal Saturday, and then, of course, the finals for Pro League and to find out who will be crowned our new champion on Sunday. One of those quarterfinals tomorrow, by the way, just as it was in the round of 12. Essentially a final match. You got FaZe going against Na'Vi. Yeah. I mean, the the initial matchups, the round of 12 and the quarterfinal on that side of the bracket are both like potential grand finals. I'm assuming Nitro saw that. Indeed he did. Rez with an all-important trade picks up the AK-47 as he backs out of the fight. But again, ground is gained towards the other side of the map. We've seen Elige push B a number of times. He's had a flank all the way towards T-spawn. He's had a nah. flank up the stairs. Now when NIP puts the emphasis on the B-bomb site, it's Shox who's getting aggressive and discovering no one's home at A. He's going to go all the way around through T-spawn. 
definitely still a connection point back through the map at exactly that connector that can still go up the stairs. But they'll make contact. 33 seconds. Shocks now knows they're going to be going. He's already toward Monster now. Just needs to stay alive. Can't do it. They can't even get counter entries. And that means Shocks. Oh, this man is just being so patient. This game is going to have to be perfect on entry. C'est parfait, mon ami. But he can't find. Oh, he does. OC extract this. Plops gets. He can't find the second. Eventually, the flanked. The flanker, rather, excuse me, becomes the flanked, and OC jumping inside of the site on the AWP has two to find. Getting up close and personal, he's going to get aggressive, assertive. He does a kit to work with. Four kills so far in the game. He needs two now. And there's a rifle down beside him, so if he takes one shot on the AWP, he could swap over to the M4 immediately after. But he is very comfortable in this situation. Molotov off to the sandbags. Doesn't want them to be able to peek through. Finds the first on Esetag extremely quickly, and he'll tap. Does he hold? That's a risky play. He expects the other one to be short. Not even checking Monster yet, but here's him going in. Misses the shot toward the great. Gonna go back and look for it again, but this is too much time gone. And the round is out of reach. As Fuzi will go down afterwards, it doesn't matter. NIP get there first in the game. Oh, that defense was looking so solid, and especially around. The, the most frustrating part about that isn't necessarily the missed shots. It's that the missed shots on top of the fact that you had all the information. You you had the jump on it with Shox's flank. You knew exactly where they were going. You had the perfect read the whole way, and then everything just collapses and goes wrong from there. The Molotov extinguished by Fuzi leading the way. OC looking for one early tag, and he's flashed off the angle. Triple boost for Elige. OC trying to find something of a read. He's going to be in trouble, though. Shot at bathroom. They're already pursuing it from both sides. He's aware of it now. He can hear them charging forward, and Hampus puts him down. Did take damage in doing so. He's on 37, but this could be a back-to-back -back rounds on IP if Liquid aren't careful. The money's so tight. They've got to really be disciplined in this particular setup. Yeah, they've got a bit of a pack mentality going on as well. The three players are part of that triple boost. Elish, Naf, and Shocks all three rotate back to the A site, And now, ooh, good kill from Elish right through the smoke. A little bit of luck even things out. I was going to say with the man advantage, NIP doesn't have to worry because Team Liquid doesn't have the bodies to make any kind of a crazy flank to find information. Now towards the B site we go. Molotovs are out. Nitro's going to try and slow down the hit on towards Sandbags. And that's perfect because Naf is on his horse. So is Shocks. They've just arrived. Nitro, what can he do over towards Monsters? Flashbang come out. Plopsky's got him immediately. And Elige with one support flashbang bounced off the ground into the site. Rez turns. Elige is going to go down through the smoke. And from here, all the danger is abated. Nothing left that Team Liquid can do. Ah, so trying, but needed to be almost perfectly precise to hit the second shot in order to not get traded. And he goes down immediately after with only the one kill. So two in a row for NIP. Money gone for Liquid. This should bring us back to a very close scoreline. And it goes to show that even though they were winning the rounds Liquid early on, the closeness of them, and they've been absolutely obliterated in Monster two rounds in a row, uh, the closeness of them has paid dividends. All right, good on NIP. We saw this as well for, I mean, one of the big conversations about Team Liquid out of yesterday was the lockdown defense they had against Heroic. Well, wasn't there on Ancient. NIP did just enough to take that away. Good shooting from Fuzi. He continues his fine op shots. And now, obviously, NIP rattling off two to take the economy away from Team Liquid's CT side. So NIP finding ways to get it done. A lot of it seems to be that creeping contact style. That round, it was OC towards bathrooms as two players crept up highway and found him previously. Now they just walk into the B-Palm site. Barely any utility is used by NAP. Only five grenades used in this round for the NIP side. So Rez waiting for this flank potential is slightly isolated from his teammates now, however. So if they swing out, not like that, like that, 
They could get an AK, but S-Tag wants to deny that. They jump out, bait his shots. Nitro looking oh, for no. another. Oh, no. Oh, baby, he's out of ammo. Oh, look at the shooting gallery arrive. They get it. Nitro, run. Run, Nitro. <laughs> oh, didn't make it far enough. Plopsky's going to take him down. No AK for Liquid. Yeah, but they got uh, they got see, like, one kill with the bomb there right at the end. Hampus went down with the explosion. So the fact, or, or maybe not, I forget who it was, who, running out of ammunition as you turn to kind of watch that flag, that's got to be the worst feeling. You're like, all right, don't worry, guys, I got it. And you hear just the click start coming, and you're like, ah, maybe I don't got it. Maybe not. All jokes. Oof. Pretty sick opener. Oh. Just trimming the hedge like a gardener. It was Hampus. You it were was right. Hampus. And he did it in the most flamboyant, stylistic way. Yeah, he did. Awesome. Three players for NIP lined up towards the B bomb site. 113 opening as Plopski's in the underpass and Fuzzy's out towards playground. No kits on the Team Liquid side. They've got four players here. If you count OC up in heaven like this with the anti flash. And if you count the flash, it's five. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just keep adding them up. Tell you what, though, Nitro's at Monster, and that has been a problem for them in these duels. More so when he's over on this side. That's risky. Elige to help him out, though. Potentially, that is the difference in the equation as Fuzzy continuing to walk up. Doesn't even care that he makes noise dropping down. He's already pre scoped in and ready for the fight. Almost wants them to look at his direction or glare into his lovely scope. I, I, he's there, I guess, to show presence. Oh, is the barrel going to be? I up? think it. Might give it. Oh, fine. Not if he does that. Flash out. Good timing. Shocks. Fuzzy gone. And that'll encourage them more to board B. Nitro's ready for it. Finding the kill. Oh. But I said it. They've been getting absolutely wrecked on the entries. Rez. That is stunning as he works in through the monster. He's going to work his way around toward barrels as well. And a flash to water. Second one. Get him closer still. Doubly blind. OC more like no C. Oh, I take it back. He can see perfectly when he comes back inside of the site. And two from Catwalk. It's all down to S Tag. He was planting the bomb. They know he was on the platform, but the smoke makes it hard to judge where he is. Shocks with the trade, and Liquid gets six. Yeah, couldn't get back into cover. S attack in the 1v2. Good kill onto OC, but Shocks is there immediately for the trade. Again, another sigh of relief for Team Liquid because Rez almost tore them apart. Beautiful two headshots, and Desk highlighted him before the series began. This performance at an event, as they mentioned, the best since 2018. That's so, so scary when he's hitting this level. We just haven't seen it for some time. And now you kind of know the, the why NIP's crazy, put so much stock in him. The crazy thing is, yeah, for Rez, absolutely the crazy. I was thinking about that the other Round 10. Rez and Fuzzy through the smoke. OC's pushed up towards party. He's stuck as well. Fight to the death. He's got an AK-47 looking behind him to take attention. Rez gonna crawl into it. There's the fight. Oh, and OC pops out. They now know his position. He can't get away. You might want to abandon him. Yeah, Shox has just backed off and said, you're on the o your own, brother. Good luck. Have fun. And he's oh, not. Oh, he was so close there. That's no not... fun was had. Yeah, well, you know, it's still... You know what they say, Jason. A bad day in the server is still better than a good day at the office. Do they say that? I mean, it's not a bad saying. I don't mind that. No, they definitely say it. Someone says it. Someone somewhere has said it in the past at some point previously. Shock's at 15 HP. He's got to play so passive. And again, they're just going to walk right in. Actually, his HP didn't even matter. Plopsky was going to rip his head clean off no matter what. Nitro, Elysian, and Naf were lining up a play inside the monster smoke. They're going to be far away from even thinking about a retake. So time to save those M4s. Fourth round on the board for the ninjas. Bad day in the server is a better day. Still a better, than, still a a better day the office. than a good day in the office. No. I don't remember that one. Write that down, kids. I will. Oh, wait, you were talking to them. Sorry. So they're saving out at the playground position. Six rounds. Liquids really need to stretch their legs as much as possible on this CT side. That was the key to their success yesterday. They already came up oh so close yet. Two rounds shy on Ancient. Ancient. Jaguar. Jaguar? Jaguar. Give it that old Attenborough spin. Magnificent animals. 
Yeah, you got one? <laughs> yeah, a couple. Nice. Whenever I want to hunt crocodile. How is, are they good at that? Yeah. Really? They're fantastic. I'll show you some YouTube videos that are going right, to blow your down. mind. Yeah, let's go up to this cinema for this. We All can right. watch some sick Jaguar videos. Shocks smoking off the Molotov. No, he's going to go for the boost. I, I, we, we haven't seen that boost all too often in recent times, but it obviously looks into the short tunnel. We used to do it up close to the window. Now team's getting more frequently and more comfortable doing it back off from the hallway so you don't get shot attempting it. Yeah, Molotov in that position usually prevents that boost from really having any impact. So here, kind of desperation with only three weapons brought into the round for Team Liquid. Alige. And IP's going right at the man who can make a difference. He's got a lot of teammates with him. Good dink. Re Rez is just so on point at the moment. Although OC does find him with a P250. He knows there's a low HP player there. S-Tag has the bomb, but no armor on OC. Means the aim punch is just brutal. Plopsky walking up close towards truck. Naf is going to be here. Sees the shadow, sees the leg. Oh, gets a follow-up as he sinks back. This is doable, but S-Tag shuts him down. If Naf could have gotten away, it would have been everything. Hampus is going to challenge, but he doesn't have the HP to want to commit to that kind of a fight. So bomb gets planted. Hampus has a tough decision to make, and Nitro now realizes he's got a 1v1 inside of the bomb site. Oh, he's too quick to it, though. That's tag here. I'm coming in was ready, poised, and takes the shot. One round between them. It's back to five now for NIP. Talk about rebrands. I'm a fan of this logo more than the old one. Okay, it's grown on you? It has. It's the. I think it's the color. I know high flow is like a hit or miss, it, but I like it. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, you don't? Look, I'm not one to publicly disparage the logo of an organization. But you can right now. I'll give you a <laughs> No, I'm not a huge fan of the color, but I think it's a cool looking. I mean, it's always been a cool looking logo. I think Ron that it just made it really cool in 2009. I raced a Lamborghini recently that had it on it. Okay. So, yeah. Why not? Crash that one too? No, leave me alone. <laughs> Elige pushing in towards short water. Got control of the tunnel. No backup. Quiet on the map early. Flashbang. OC doesn't leave the angle entirely. And there it is. There's a nice shot to land on the head of Hampus. Sound key will give Elige the information he needs when this happens. He can just pop up and ruin Plopsky's day. Gap in that door. Hole in the door means Plopsky can safely look towards sandbags to see if anyone's going to aggress upon the position, waiting for Fuzi to be in position. Oh, and he slides past the angle. Now is going to try and get away, but that hole in the door does everything. It's Rez again with the rebuttal. 14 kills on Rez in the 11 rounds so far. Was Smuya in the fan cams? I have no idea, to be honest with you. I, I, don't, I don't so much pay attention to the fan cams when they pop up on the screen. I just see people having a good time, and that makes me have a good time. Oh, I thought you were going to say that it depresses you. I don't really... Never invited to have a good time. <laughs> I don't really look at the faces. Plopsky is going to try and enter in. Naf and Nitro do a great job. Shox chimes in for the third. Each defender gets one frag. And Liquid back up to seven. Two-round lead. It's the only armor as well. Everyone else just pistols, so... Look to Hampus to open things up for NIP. Although, fair play, he might want to pass that AK over to Rez, just see what he can give you. S-Tag hears the footsteps. They hard clear the angle. Nitro and Elige, no fear. Hold W, push forward. That's a third of the map taken away from NIP, and actually entirely access to the B bomb site for the moment is taken away from them. Meanwhile, that AK-47 on Hampus out towards Long, not out in the open for the flashbang. OC looking for the peak. He, oh, and he legs him. He legs him down to 17, and it's a phenomenal rebuttal from Hampus with the AK-47. Does Fuzi expect? No, there's no way. He's not even considering it, not even looking anywhere close to the left. Shocks just protected by the edge of that smoke. Good shot, Shocks. Good spray control. Very good, yeah. AK can get pretty wild at times. Especially at that headshot angle. AK gone wild. It's the name of my frag movie. It's just really a bunch of missed shots. Second time we've seen Shocks be super successful at that bathroom position, by the way. This time it wasn't so much a sneaky play, but he has relocated. That's sneaky, if you want to call it. 
I will say towards towards the end of, uh, of his of his tenure in Vitality, like shocks on overpass was was quite a heavy talking point for that team in their series when it was picked. Was how dynamic shocks can be, how aggressive, and how he's got such a good feel for the timings on the map. So no real surprises. Red can, Res continues to be absolutely mental. Long range, one D on to NAF. Now stepping into the bomb site, 14 seconds, and Elise doesn't even let him respond. Close lines him around the corner. So Liquid secure a lead into the second half. Two rounds remaining to see what NIP can scrape together on their T side, in which they've used three times out timeouts. Times out. Times out. Are they out of times? Did you know that during a timeout, every 30 seconds, it passes? That's deep. So deep. Molotov's put out, but no one passing into short water area. S-Tag just makes it look like control is going to be there. OC and Elise going to get aggressive and start to slide into position at Sandbags as they want to clear it, make sure that nobody from NIP is actually controlling this. How far do they want to go? OC leading the way with the op shocks and stairs. They've got bodies that they can be aggressive on this part of the map. All this op peeking around the angle could be so brutal. Rez, S-Tag, Plopsky. One of them is going to be challenged. Good find, getting tagged in the feet. Falling back is OC to the site. Nitro still was at barrels to watch out for the monster push. They try and make a little bit of a rebuttal toward bathrooms by clearing out the connector, but no one really there. Naf's going to sit back toward the bank instead. Fuzi is the one that's closest. So much control, so much information, so much map for Team Liquid. Even if Shox gets caught on this flank, if he somehow gets negated, Elise is still chilling right outside the door which I don't think anyone would expect considering Shox's flank, but we just mentioned this, how dynamic he can be in his feel for the game. Rotating around towards highway, it's just going to be Fousey here. Hampus is going to bust out of that door at some point. They want Fousey to make a distraction. Here comes Hampus, but Elise is there as well, so he's going to be held off. Nitro alone at the bomb site. Shox is able to add one more. It's just down to Rez and Esetag, and I don't think that's enough to break through this defense. Liquid looking good in these last few rounds. It's 9-5 to five heading into the final of the first half. Double digits would be remarkable for them and potentially put us in a position for a long, grueling series, as perhaps you would have expected between these two. Inferno's our third map, which is, I think, as good as it Which is lovely. Yeah. It's absolutely lovely. Spot a T, absolutely Marvy. Shocks. Uh, kind of like Rez, Shocks as well, though. You want to give him a bit of a hiatus period. He's someone that I thought was falling off, but in Liquid, he seems to find a bit of a resurgence. Maybe it's a confidence thing. You know, maybe he's getting a bit more respect being brought into North America. They're taking that European influence. You know, but he's getting a lot more freedom on maps than he has in the last few years. I've bailed out of the Shocks hype train a couple times over the years, but he keeps finding ways to reinvent himself, and, and you got to admire that. Yeah, you had like a choice, right? There was two trains for you. It was Kusta or Shocks. <laughs> Definitely pick right. <laughs> <laughs> An unfair characterization, but we'll, we'll, we'll allow it. <laughs> it's all right. Anders is lost on the PALF train somewhere. So. Yeah, he's way, way back there with some online game from 2014. Elige getting aggressive upstairs in coordination with the Shocks getting aggressive in highway. They're going to turn to deal with Elige, and Shocks is going to get taken down. The Tech Nines respond. S Tag and Plopsky. Well done. They don't expect OC who doesn't want to fall back. He's going to hold strong steps into bathrooms. In fact, Naf is completely blind. Tech Nine is out again for S-Tag. This time it can do nothing. Oh, Hampus. Why does, oh, no. That's the a Deagle. problem. The, well, the problem is that I, th I don't think OC had faith in his teammate, so he brought out the pistol to reverse clear front bathrooms, what? and he doesn't have the shocks. 15. Naf, 15. The kill total is adding up. Elise gone quiet, but it doesn't even seem to matter as we're at 10-5 for Liquid. Well, as he said, he has been getting owned by Rez, who's been on point throughout this series, and... Obviously a good opening half as well. Although not showing up on the main scoreboard between the teams as NIP behind by five. Would love to have this pistol on. They've got an aggressive setup in bathrooms. Hampus at connector, Rez at the main entrance. Plopsky tucked into a corner out towards Long. They're going to get attention put on them. Nitro's got the utility, but he's close up to turning this corner. So Rez will take attention. And if Plopsky can turn in time, I think Rez needs at least one. At least one. Good job from Plopsky. Holding the line. There's a leash swinging in past his crosshair. Oh, shot's not landing. Shot's not landing from either of them. This is messy. It's awkward. There's shocks in response. And all of a sudden, the Pisteron, which was looking sketchy for Team Liquid, is back within their reach. 
Couple taps from Hampus. Tries to get away from it, can't do it. Gets stuck in the corner, release, gets the kill, but it's Fuzi that responds, shocks. Not letting that get away, though. Brings it back to a one-on-one. -on -one. 17 kills now for him. He's got two in this pistol. He's got one more to find. USP at 100 HP with a kit. Shocks at 54 with a Glock. Has to close the distance. His S tag get checked long before he runs away. Oh, the timing on this peak is everything. He's seen it. He's seen it. There's 25 seconds. Shocks. Has to make a really tough call here. He's got time to bail out towards the B bomb site. S tag is going to see nothing. When does he start rotating? Just now. It's a race to the bomb site. S tag might be able to beat him from up top. I think he can. Gravity is one directional, Jason. And he's going to get down inside of heaven at this point in time. He could have faked that back. He could have double pumped it. It would have been a huge call and gamble to make as he gets shown inside of the smoke. It didn't plume properly. And S tag will win out the round for NIP. I, I honestly think that you would have. You expect to get spotted, you could almost double pump that and force him to rotate, expecting you to run. I, it's, Gamble. Yeah, it's always a hard, hard call to make. I mean, you just got to make the decision immediately and stick with it. And obviously here, good read from S attack to just hop on over. This was a bit of a weird engagement. It's not, you know, you mentioned Elise with a quiet game. It's not all because Rez is dominating. He had his chances there, just couldn't connect with the bullets that were necessary. And you're right, smoke doesn't plume fast enough or far enough, excuse me, for that bomb to be covered during the plant. So pissed around in the second half, going to NIP. Unarmored pistols for Team Liquid, looking for that third round buy. Run boost out to long. Nitro without a nade this time is the one getting boosted in run. Thrown. Thank God we had that perspective on the camera because that was a weak run boost. It was pretty weak. Couldn't fully tell. Nah, it was Tarek's little linguini arms trying let, to throw him. <laughs> let the record show it was a weak run boost. Oh. Classic references, of course. Oh, okay. Out of the air. Goodbye, Naf. First fire. Switch to it. Go. Ah, it's not viable, unfortunately. You know, got to buff it. Hampus, though. I'll tell you what's viable. Running and gunning with a nail gun. The little stapler. The clob. He's going to get in behind him. Three kills for Plopski on an SMG. Not too bad. Yeah, we take those. Two kills for Fuzi on the FAMAS, and they'll keep all those weapons in hand. So much like the first half, Team Liquid have superior weaponry heading into the third round. Five AK-47s, three SMGs, and two FAMAS on the NIP side. So a good chance for Liquid to put some range into good use. Round 18, second map of the second quarterfinal of the day. NIP took Ancient in 30 rounds, 16-14 previously. Liquid facing elimination, trying to force us onto a third and deciding map of Inferno. Elige waiting for the AK. Reads it. Expecting the boost, but as he spotted out and realized they were slightly staggered off that board position, so couldn't spray in co to collect entirely. Yeah, but remember that that's also just as we mentioned, this is this is the tough part of this round for the CT side. The, the weaponry is better. That's the FAMAS not cleaning the kill. M4 likely finds that onto a liege. That's um pretty interesting. They've gone for another boost on the same angle. A liege might get overconfident on this 14 HP. Funny enough that he wins that because his feet show first, remember. Oh, yikes. Oh, see you later, Hampus. Nitro's going to love that all day. Out in the open, nowhere to go. Trying to get information, and you're swept aside. 55 seconds left on the clock. Three players going to be stuck on this B bomb site. And I imagine NIP's going to keep three players here and just gamble it. And they have the right gamble. It's funny. We just saw the video from NAF talking about blowing that door open and how much fear it puts into this CT side. Nitro's investigating. He's not willing to make the final determination just yet of where to go. Peeking into the eight bomb said he's going to see it's clear. 30 seconds. Plopsky's already heard Nitro upstairs. You can see him trying to trace the sound through the wall. And that means he might have the... Ooh, he might have the advantage here in the MP9. He's got to guess correctly which side of the stairs he's coming on. And it still goes the AK way. Three HP. That's a problem. They now have someone in heaven that draws attention. If he can't do damage, at least he pulls aggro and gets information. That's exactly what he's going to do. Reds from down below, though. Famos. It was the best round we'll ever see from a FAMAS, but it still isn't good enough. There's at least two fights in that round that go the way of the CTs if they have M4s instead of MP9s instead of FAMAS. This initial one on the boost that Elish finds the opening kill, and obviously the SMG on a Nitro couldn't complete the frag, although the SMG probably still effective and impactful in that situation as well.
So Team Liquid get the third round, but Ops going to come out on Fuzi. Upgrades all across the board for the CT side. M4s, no kits for NIP in this next round. Clips OC. Not enough to take him down as Fuzi has to fall back. Alp is going to relocate deep in the highway towards the A bomb site, peering over connector. Flashbang. Elige spots one. There is a second player in this position. Naf, alone outside of B, is not activated yet, is not involved in the fight just yet. Looks like Liquid want to clear this. But Smoke's going to go down. Elige is brought down to four health, so a tag on OC to 23 and spam onto Elige to four. Shot out for Nitro. He'll take out Rez. Clears out the bathroom connector as well, and Fuzi's still waiting, though, at long. As you mentioned, this AWP had transitioned, and he's got the cartoon version of the dragon lore. Oh, Shock another out. tag. He's got Nitro, man. He's doing damage. Now he's getting killed. Shocks will go down. It's three players low, and one that's reasonably healthy in the form of Nav. Need to get through, though. M4 is going to do a massive amount of damage against those weakened opponents, but Nav still standing tall. Has one back. He's taken down. Elise Low has to find Hampus and one-on-one -on -one that goes the way of NIP. So expensive, though, in victory. All but one fall. Hampus is able to grab the AWP right at the end of the round, right before it switches over to freeze time. But NIP's put on notice quickly. They're running. So Rez with the early incendiary thrown to the T-stairs. Fuzi will get up on top of the railing and try and look at that direction again with the AWP. Op it like it's hot. But no one's standing inside the flames. Campus with some spray toward the doorway. Slickety slocks, slickety slocks, slickety shocks. Trying to slide. I was going to go for a tongue twister, and it, apparently it really was. Going to slide toward the bathrooms. He's got the deagle to work with. Fuzi still spotting deep inside of the site. Very close position right now for Rez. Maybe he'll make the famous famous in this round. Not going to happen. Gets taken down. Oh, you better run. You better run. Those pistols. Oh, can't find it. Can't find it. Awkward. Awkward. I think they need to back out. They need to save these weapons if they can't. Hampus, he's still not got a second one. How does that even work? Plopsky's already back into it. Somehow, they've come back into the round. Did he just switch to burst? Shout out to Plopsky. Pursuing the position, he's going to put a smoke out on top of the bomb early. That time, he's clearly just spraying an OC removed. All right, Famous, maybe I'll give you a little more credit. And it's all oh, they're holding it. They're holding it. Shox isn't even going to fire in. He doesn't know it. He doesn't know that it's actually being defused. He might want to do that. He might want to do it right now. If he's going to do it, it's not going to happen. Bomb defused. Round over. Shox will get a kill after the fact, but it's now 9 to 11. I don't even mind Shox not going for that at the end. I, I mean, low percentage obviously would have been great if he, if, he, if he gets it, but the plant and four more kills, you still have the economy right on the edge. I didn't see that second Hampus kill. I don't know how that happened. I have no clue how he was able to get a second kill in this situation. There's the... F okay, his crosshair isn't even there yet. <laughs> a little bit of benefit. He did get the one on yeah, the left got, of the boss. He got the second kill. It's so stupid. <laughs> what a way to lose a round. Yeah, that's cool. That's uh, oh, how we laugh. 11-9, uh, to nine, two round lead from Team Liquid. But doing good. I, I mean, they, they've, they've got NIP set up perfectly for just a devastating economic collapse. Oh, no. That flash timing, and Elish just fires into it. He was slightly too soon with his back exposed. Elish makes no mistake. So Elish now going back over up the ladder and toward the bathroom safely. It'll be Plopsky, actually, excuse me, Hampus. Plopsky boosting Hampus to be boosted after the flash goes to water. They want to try and get back in that position without the head being an easy target. 
And they confirm that there's no one at least inside of that doorway at Connector. So this will give them a gamble that to go... They've gone back over toward A, being Team Liquid, and therefore they'll try and do the same. I say that. Did Naf... Naf's done something to convince them otherwise. Smoke went down a monster. He threw up with a utility I didn't see, because there's nothing on the map. Maybe he threw a flash, because they immediately hightailed it and ran back to the B site. Oh, careful, Fuzi. Flashbang is out. Molotov coming in. Fuzi's going to get aggressive. He wants to stay alive. He wants to actually have an impact in this round. They're going to start wrapping behind him. Good kill. Can he get another one? Nitro falls as well. That double is everything, but OC holding off the rotation. <gasps> oh. Second kill as Plopsky tries to sneak through the smoke and... Naf Team Liquid, him. they've done it. I take it back. I thought Naf heard him. Ah. Definitely went hunting knowing that he wasn't going to be there. S-Tag will get an upgrade onto an AK, but it's 12 to 9. Back-to-back -back rounds, Team Liquid lose, but getting NIP down to just one player. And we're going to see the result of that here. S-Tag just trying to save the only weapon that they're going to have. Actually, also trying to wrap around towards Long to punish OC on the exit. If he can find that, ooh, how spectacular it would be. S-Tag trying to pick his battles. Quietly waiting out towards party. Has seen nothing yet. I think everyone's gonna go get away just fine. Looks like S-Tag not all that motivated to take a gun away. But look at how brutal the reset is. Three players for NIP at 1,400. Smokes to go toward the side. S-Tag holding close. Molotov down, he gets removed immediately. Plopsky comes right back into it, though, and the Deagle's fine, too. Rez still at the pillar, yet to be determined, yet to be spotted. But now that Jig is up as... Uh, it's going to be Elise trying to go around the pillar, but can't find the dancing tune. Hosey's not sure what to do in this situation because they've got rifles. Thinks about getting rid of the bomb. Thinks about maybe going for a pick. Instead, he'll back off. Liquid just going for a rush. I think possibly the conversation was they're going to change something. They're low on economy. They're going to have to stack something, maybe a boost somewhere. Maybe they're going to push up towards bathrooms at three. We might be able to catch him off guard. And unfortunately, the Deagle from Hampus is brutal. Stops that hit so quickly. But now NIP have to play a long, slow-paced round. 50 seconds on the clock. Fuzi and Rez both deep behind the B bomb site. Hampus as well is pretty much here. He's just listening for information and watching his back towards A. But making sure that he's always close by to help out as soon as contact is made or information is gathered. It's Nath and OC to start creeping in. Shot One barrel out. shows first, yeah. Rez is able to grab OC. Oh, oh. Ah, that is so sick! All three! The Canadian kid again shows up in big form, and it's 13 for Liquid. Winning situation, they lose it, they drop it. Back to pistols, what a turnaround. Elige pushing around the corner, has to be very careful of the presence on the other side. No mistake of the first shot. Actually gonna get off that angle altogether, look toward Long. His teammates then have to deal with the fact that OC Brother Rez is coming around the corner and OC gets taken down. Elise just picks up some kills. Needs them. He's up to 20 now. Catching up to those of his teammates. Remember, he was very slow in the first half, so he's been stepping it up big time on the T side. Yeah, don't quote me on this. I think he ended that first half with like seven kills or something like that, seven or eight. And he's he's certainly shot up the scoreboard once they've switched sides over to the T side. He's been he's been a huge force to be reckoned with across this map. Liquid just two maps away from taking us to Inferno. NIP, one final buy to try and spur this comeback forward. We're going to get a tech pause as a PC has crashed. PC. <laughs> I got nothing. I got nothing to get out of that situation. Back to Counter-Strike. Off in the hands of Fuzi. Off in the hands of OC as well. <laughs> they were putting out the Molotov, and OC was like, nah, bro, I want to actually get there. Oh, that's a lot of spam from Nav. Fuzi down to 6 HP. That sucks in such an all-important round. He's got Plopsky there to help him keep space. Shocks still moving forward with the AK in hand. Reds is the one that's inside of the bathroom. So I don't think he's in a position to spot through that gap so that won't see outside of it. No one inside. Hampus is going to need to jump spot soon. Rez is already relocating, though, and a clean, concise jump on Shocks. At least you can't follow up. So not quite the reactions from John that 
we might be used to. We heard his, his little jokes coming out of the halftime as well about how he just been spent the full... Oh! <laughs> Peace. Let's say Elise spent the whole first half getting wrecked by, uh, wrecked by Rez. Gave him a little bit of respect in the team comms at the end of one of the rounds. Good time for Rez to pop off for a double kill to open things up because they needed, they needed someone to deliver them some positive news. That's Who's why, he? that right there is why I wear diapers when I cast. He just hangs in the air. Osi's not done, he's relocated again. He'll start to clear the front side of the site. They're still down a man after that double kill from this guy. Rez looking for his third. No success, forced off. They know he's in the corner. He'll bounce a nade out. Hampus wanted to make amends with that slide into position, but the AWP of OC again, and NAF on entry. Remember, they had six HP early on on one individual player. That's the one that just went down. It was such an easy scout to take as S-Tag, though, gets two back. And it's all on to NAF once more. He's clutched a 1v3 already. He's gonna work it in. He's got an AK to work with, but the shot's early. Plopsky's able to recover. Rez and Hampus better be thanking Estag for that double kill. They saved the day because that is a botched defense at the A bomb site. Rez trying to time the jiggle peaks from Nitro in that main choke point, falling back. There's only one position he could really go to with any kind of safety. He didn't know the pace they were coming with. And Hampus getting lured into a follow up peak at the dice box is picked off. They are very fortunate that their teammates covered for their mistakes there. But still, it, like, if you look at the gun rounds that NIP's won in this half, they have yet to win one clean. They, run, they won rounds 19 and 20, both of those with just one player surviving. Here with an advantage in the bomb site, losing a couple players. They win that with two players alive. This CT side has never had money. They have always been fighting with a disadvantaged loadout, and that kind of sucks if you're NIP. And you feel that when you're playing. Popsky bags position. Naf going to work out underneath of the crosshair. Can't reset fast enough. In fact, can't get either of the kills despite damage being done to both targets. Shocks and Naf getting away with it. A wee little nade toward the jungle. Nobody going through monster. Nobody at all. Astag gets the off angle. Looks like he wants to step up for a little bit more. Falls back. Hampus position is now known. Molotov to slow things down, but he's under pressure, so it's missed thrown. It. Yeah, now he's got to get out of there. Molotov is going to spread, moves over towards the pillar. He's got some safety. He needs that kill on Nitro, and he's got it. Secures monster, and now he's got some safety as the smoke comes down. He's got the advantage on this. Self flashes. The monster position, no one's gonna push through that smoke. Naf's already trying to retreat. They better use that smoke to go the other way if they want to. The problem with doing that is Rez, he's not exactly going for the full-fledged flank that we've seen from Shocks over the last few days, but he is pushed up to the planter position, and that means he can cover off middle and the retreat toward A. Good spot to get so much map control, and they'll confidently stay over toward B, where Fuzi will take down a Lee's missed shot, does give OC one back. I don't think they're anticipating a second player to have slid into the barrel position again, having done all this work to try and get into the site for a second time. Very easily, it can go overlook, trying to spray through the metal, can't be done. Bomb is dropped, and Naf's gonna walk out. He does check it. Low HP on S tag. This is suddenly turned. Shocks, or excuse me, rather, Naf versus Rez, and Rez removed from this position. He tries to tap it. There was four seconds. I think he could have held it, but he thought he was a little bit late, and Rez is even gonna get him down after the time. Yeah, Naf was thinking because that battle was so extended Ooh. to get into the bomb site, Rez was going to be way closer. Thought he could have lured him out into the open and actually maybe just a one second off. I think it was what I want to see the timer on that. It may have been on the time because his money's level with everyone else. He may have gotten away with that. But yeah, one second off on the plant either way. Oh, that's tough. So one sec. No, nope, yep, it was time. No bonus money for you. I suppose I could just tech tab and check the little icon. You could have. Yeah. More suspense this way. Yeah, you really... Well, you like to make things difficult on yourself. That's been one of your most charming characteristics over the years. Rez going to back away into bathroom. Sprays down one. A softened up Shocks Falls next. Good trade from Naf. Three versus four. Still, just, just like I said, again, another round that NIP wins. Only one player surviving. This money is still just so busted. You have to feel for NIP. This has been a really rough game for them just to stay alive in. And finally now, it's looking like this round is going to help them with their economy. The question becomes, is it too late? Have they given Team Liquid enough before they can establish their money?
<laughs> yes, Team Liquid. We'll see if they can close this one out. Because they do have money this time to work with. They'll go for all AK-47s. Fast play, maybe? No, they're going to spread this out. Bomb's going to be dropped into a default position, so watch for a setup and for picks. Elige the one toward Monster. Fast play from Fuzi, though. New angle for the AWP to be in, and the nade that's already gone out does a little bit of damage to OC. Nice thing is it because he's pushed up so aggressively at the moment. If they feel some pressure towards B, or if, they, if he goes like a lot of this round, there's going to be a timing when Fuzi decides to swing a little bit wider to see if he can find anything. Flashbang from Nitro. Taking a risk with this kind of a route. Might just slide into the off angle. Fuzi now creeping a little bit wider. A little bit wider he goes. Now he's got the fallback protected. Oh no! When you take your time. I don't think he saw him. I don't think he saw him actually push forward. Shots out. Oh, that's tag winning that one. They need to swing, but he's got support from the pillar. They slide underneath, and OC supports the second man while Elise takes the one up close, but Hampus over top of the flames has roasted the round and put Liquid into a very awkward situation. It's Naf and Nitro. Fuzi knows there's something going on, trying to find oh, no. the position in the sight, but he can't get the Tech-9 lined up. And the shot goes to make it a 1v3 again. Naf with the bomb. He's come so close to two of these situations. He has won a third, but this time he absolutely needs to get Liquid on the map point because money is dwindling again. And they'll swing up close. Unfortunately spotted from heaven before the kill could be found. And it is going to be 14-13. Fair play. Fuzi kept track of Nitro that entire round. And that's Team Liquid going back to a tactic they used very, very early on in this game to win a round. I think that was round number three that Liquid was able to seal against the FAMAS and SMG. Nitro tries to pull off that big lurk through CT, spawn to backstab on the post plant. Hampus obviously ruins that. Yeah. We say it every once in a while, and I think we all, everyone who's played Counter-Strike for a significant amount of time knows the feeling. It's those easy ones that are sometimes the most difficult. Rez, jiggle peeking with the one taps, cleans up the kill. Malaysia Tech 9 close quarters. And NIP have used all of their timeouts, but yet they're starting to make this awkward for Liquid, who may have to give them another timeout to use by calling one of their own. Shox tries to jump forward and get inside of the smoke. He does. He manages to actually push all the way through without being traced and tracked. Allows him to get Plopsky. Nah, follows up on it. Bomb to be planted by Nitro. They just stick it. And it's perimeter and proximity only. At this point for NIP, trying to go for a retake. Campus and Fuzi up close. Rez still working down timidly toward the door at the bottom of connector because he's uncertain as to whether or not someone's looking that direction from the sandbags not to walk out too far hampus does over extension gets caught out by nitro and now they spot Fuzi. he's missed a shot but the tech nine will do for one more nitro gets that as well and i think rez has to back off of this he's gonna save liquid are at least going to secure overtime yeah hampus just a little over eager and team liquid get to 15 off the back of tech nines and a p250 a huge bust into that B bomb site. Defenders can only go two for two. That'll be frustrating. Same scoreline we had on Ancient, except reverse. Team Liquid now have two chances to close out overpass and take us to Inferno. NIP fighting for overtime if they want to avoid a third map. Stag spends all of his ammunition spamming into the smoke. Makes him an easy target after that initial kill. You're right, Hampus just way overextended. Really rough buy for NIP. Not really rough, but, you know, shouldn't say really rough. Plopsky has dualies. Those are more than capable in this scenario. Up against AK-47s in an op. Hampus is going to switch all the way over to playground. Oh, they have not seen this level of aggression. He's stuck. He's stuck and he can't win the fight. Nitro never slowed down. He loved that he had that opportunity. Opening kill towards Team Liquid in the all-important round 29. Blinded his res, but he still wins the fight. His eyes clear. His vision comes back at the perfect moment. Elige wants to punish. But this has been his nemesis throughout this game. He's caught dropping the bomb, and Rez swings out wide. He wants one more. Rez challenging everyone and winning all of them. Absolutely liquid. Good thing they secured overtime because they might be in trouble in the next round in terms of weapons if they can't pull this back. Miraculously, OC and Naf.
Rez will already cover out toward the flower pot position with Fuzi checking from inside of the site. So that's a one two punch. You've got Plopsky forward for information and S tag over on B. If they can get over to that side of the map and maybe isolate those one on ones, they might have a better chance at this, but they are running low on time if they want to do that. 30 seconds. You gotta get on the horse. No pun intended for Liquid. And frankly, I don't know how fast seahorses are, Jason. I can't imagine that fast, Matt. I've never seen them in the wild, though. I could be wrong. Okay. They've got other ideas. They don't have to be fast at all to do this. Keep the guns. Again, secured overtime point, so they know that they don't have anything to risk by... Uh, or I shouldn't say anything to risk, but they don't have as much risk for not going for this, and they'll give themselves a better chance of weapons to close this out in regulation. So that's the calculated decision instead. Yeah, and Shox and Elish both need AK-47s. 2,900 on Shox. Elish had 2,500, so those rifles are dropped over. Elish is actually going to have the M4, excuse me. The Nitro can buy his own. So those weapons were hugely important into having a strong buy in this final round of regulation. There we go. There's some animation. Everybody's into it. Maybe a little too into it. Sit back down, sir, on the left. Very much damned if you do, damned if you don't with you, eh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uzi. Oh, he's got one. Not he's the one away. One. That's not even the one he shot at. He got a liege that was behind. Shocks in that position. Poor guy's taking strays. And s -Tank's gonna take down OC. Another two-man advantage for them to work with on the NIP side. OC did not want to let S tag get away. S tag just shooting at the corner, hoping OC is going to walk into his bullets. That's exactly what happens. Three versus five for Team Liquid. Not able to close this out. They had a decent lead in this game as well. It's been a great comeback. Five of the last six going the way of NIP's defense. Looking like six of the final seven rounds in this game going their way to force OT. All that's left is this three man hit towards the B bomb site. There's three initial defenders. Three initial defenders, but S Tag has been very punishing. And they all have, really. I mean, Rez has been so sharp, but S Tag in that position is specific. Ampus is going to spray in through the boards a little bit. He's got a Molotov as well. If these nades come over for the set piece from Team Liquid, he's surely going to drop that and, and delay Shocks joining up with the hit. That could be huge. The Ampus. Oh, no. Don't misread the situation. You have it all right. He was running back to pick up a flashbang. Going to play from above. Like we got overtime point based on his overextension in heaven before. So he wants to play the support. Double peek toward monster too early. Oh, I say that. They are there. They weren't quite ready to go. There was no utility down. They step out and they get a kill. Nath manages one back. Nitro. He returns the favor they dished so many times to the right side of monster in the first half. How is this turning? Shocks inside of the site. And Fuzi's up close with an AWP. They need to be aware of the second position, though. If they overcommit to the offer, it's Rez that's sitting in wait with the AK. Shocks has him down. Liquid somehow may turn this round. Based on the flashes coming in. Based 